All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to complete a history grade check. And the first thing I ask you to do is to find your overall letter grade, percentage grade, and total number of missing assignments for this class. So if, uh, when you log into Aries, it should look something like this. This is uh, an eighth graders um, Aries page, so it's gonna look a little bit different than yours, but you can see that, um, well, they, they take US history, but if we pretended that this said world history, that's where you're gonna find your information. So we have the letter grade right here. It's gonna be A, B, C, D, uh, hopefully never an F. And then right underneath it, it's, it's a little small, but right underneath it, you have um, the percentage. If you have missing assignments in that class, you'll also have a little red number right here that will tell you how many missing assignments you have. So that's gonna be the first thing you wanna do is look for that information. But then in your grade check, it asks you now to be a little more specific. And it asks you to look up your grades for specific assignments. So to do that, you're going to go back to your Aries and you wanna click the words that say world history. Click those blue words right there. And when you do, it's gonna come up with another screen. So you can start out by scrolling all the way down to the bottom of that screen. And there you see a more specific breakdown of your grade. So again, you've got your overall grade, which is for the student A plus, they have 100%. But you can also see how that breaks down in your, uh, how you're getting on your, how, what grades you're getting on your assignments, on your assessments, those are the big ones, the quizzes, the tests, uh, excuse me, the quizzes, the essays, the projects, and how you're doing on your participation, which is all the like student-y kind of stuff that we do. So that's gonna give you a more specific breakdown. If you're wondering why your grade is what it is, look and see which of these categories is lower than you want it to be and go back and see what you can do about that. Okay, so once you do that, you've got that information there, but we can look at the individual assignments. So you've got all of these assignments right here. Um, right at the top, you've got your score. So right there. You have the title of the assignment, so if you're looking for something specific, look for that title of the assignment. But another thing that's kind of cool is if it has a link, that means it's a Canvas assignment. And you can click that link right there, and it will take you to Canvas where you will find that assignment. So it'll help you avoid some of the like looking through stuff. You just have to click that link, and it'll take you right to the assignment. But we're going to go back and take a look at what to do in our Aries there excuse me, what to do on our grade check. So for your grade check, you're just going to literally put your score. So on your name tent shakeup, what score did you get? Did you get a five out of five? Woo. Awesome. Did you get a three out of five? Okay. Not a problem. You can go back and finish it, go back and redo it and totally get those points up. Okay. And then don't forget every time we're writing in here, we're writing using a complete sentence. Uh, that has seven words or more, starts with a capital letter, ends with punctuation, usually a period. Uh, so you're going to answer whatever questions are down here um, using complete sentences. It's some sort of, it's always going to be some sort of like reflection on how you're doing in the class or um, kind of what you're learning from the class. Okay, I hope that helps if you um, were having any trouble. And if you need any help, come see me. All right, bye guys.